James Osmond here. Uh, I was just kind of cleaning up my, my uh, little work area over here, and I, I found this stack of uh, old quick set, and uh, this one here, I believe, is a, uh, a Brinks doorknob block, just standard old crappy doorknob you'd buy from Walmart or whatever, maybe to keep the kids out of the closet, I guess. And uh, here is a quick set one. Uh, the quick set has a removable core, uh, but before I start the video, I want to say that uh, I've not touched this core. I've not removed it. I do not have uh, the equipment or the pins or any of that that I need to rekey this. So these two locks are actually keyed different. Now, they're similar, but they're keyed different. Uh, the key that operates this lock will not properly operate this lock. Uh, but what, what what I want to do this video on today is, uh, you know, I've always said that people have a false sense of security, and uh, a, a recent friend of mine uh, or a recent subscriber to my channel, uh, he made a video and I watched his video and it was about false sense of security, and so it prompted me to want to show you guys uh, what I mean when I say or, or the reason I say I hate quick set locks why you should never put quick set on your door uh, especially an exterior door because I'm not alone I'm not the only person that knows about this uh, and the fact is there are criminals out there that are pretty proficient at, at getting past these crappy quick sets and they do it all the time uh, not only can these doorknobs I, I've witnessed with my own eyes uh, back when I was younger, a guy take this doorknob in his hand. Now this guy was six foot four, but he took a doorknob in his hand and just twisted and broke the entire doorknob off. I mean, just just broke the latch and everything, and the door just came right open. So, but other than that, the reason I hate these is I'm fixing to show you. All right, here we have a key. Uh, this key went. I don't even know if it goes to any of these locks, to be honest with you, because I have to really work the key in, in both of them but if you notice I put the key all the way in and nothing happens I'll pull out a little bit still nothing and I'm turning as I pull still nothing but what I can do is saw that thing and then boom now we get it to open even though you know even though I've pulled on it and turned it see there we go again you have to kind of work that key to operate that lock all right, and this uh, key says new card on it, so I don't think it even goes to this because this is a uh, a Brinks doorknob, or this is a quick set doorknob. So you see this key works this doorknob if I work it a little bit. doesn't take much. So let's go to this doorknob now. All right, this is the Brinks doorknob. So I put the key in, and it works almost right away. I go all the way in, nothing happens. I pull it out just a hair. Well, and then there, there you go. We have operate. Now, uh, put these keys aside because these are a set of keys that I got that went to this lock. So we'll throw those away. Here is a key uh, that I've, I've gotten into collecting old keys, and my mother gave. Uh, it was on an old key ring of my mother's. Just went to probably some office she had back in the 80s or something. It's a six pin uh, key. It fits a, uh, a quick set keyway. Not sure what the key, what this key even went to. It says DE8, Cole DE8. Maybe you guys want to look it up. I didn't really care to know, but if you want to look it up, it, the key blank says DE8. Now, note that this is a six pin key, five pin lock. But what happens, and I noticed this this key, <laughs> believe it or not, this key opens the crappy deadbolt that used to be on my front door. Uh, so you notice if I put the key all the way in, it has it won't go all the way in. It has a little slack. See there, it's it's not all the way to the shoulder of the key. So let me show you what you do. You put the key in and you turn. You you work the key in and out as you're putting a little pressure on it, and you can wiggle up and down, and there you go. Now, if you notice, the position of the key that actually opened it, it's way back there. So, we're two biddings off. There's one whole bidding of that key that's not even in contact with a pin. So, this key definitely does not operate either one of these locks. And I'll do it, I'll show you on this lock. 
right now you see it the shoulders not touching if I just begin to turn and wiggle and pull this key in and out you're working it kind of like you would if you were raking a lock and basically I just took a, a key that I found and I raked open these two locks now what's sad about this is this same key opened a deadbolt on my front that used to be on my front door it opened a deadbolt a separate keyed deadbolt that used to be on my back door and it, it was uh, actually uh, it was not a I think it was a defiant actually on the back door because it was a lot harder to, to pick with a regular pick because it did have spool pins in it uh, this key has opened numerous locks it's just a six pin key so I kind of kept this key around because it's kind of a do-all jiggler, man. I mean, this, this thing's like the gigolo of keys. I can open, I don't know how many quick jump locks with this thing, but that's what I want to talk to you guys about. When you're buying a quick set, you're buying a lock with very, very poor tolerances. The pin diameter does not closely fit the diameter of the holes. The diameter of the plug does not closely fit the diameter of the hole uh, or the Bible of the lock the keyway the the plug is able to to move back and forth inside that that Bible that plug or hole or, or whatever you want really it's a hole people call it a Bible but anyway so so what you end up with is a lock that's so shitty you get stacked what they call stacked tolerances the tolerant, uh, poor tolerance stacks on top of another poor tolerance, and, and all these tolerances stack together to make one very loosely crappy fit thing that almost anything can open this. I mean, I've seen some quick sets that I could literally just stick a piece of, of straight wire in. To, you know, if this was just straight, just imagine like a windshield wiper uh, insert, straight as straight could be, and I could just stick that in there and just turn on it and rake back as I'm turning and the thing will open without tensioning it you know with a separate tension wrench or anything so so guys anybody that watches these videos if you have a quick set on your door um, especially look, look I, I get this I watch a lot of prepper channels and, and a lot of these uh, gun channels and whatnot and you got all these people that are so serious about security they go out and buy like like, you know, a $1,500 AR-15, they put another $4,000 into it, they put optics, they put night vision scopes. You go to their freaking house, they have a fucking quick set on their door. Who the hell puts a quick set on their door when they have $10,000 in guns and ammo, a year's preparation of food in their house, medical supplies, whatnot, and you're securing it with the crappiest lock known to me. This, this lock, besides the the master lock copies from china are absolutely the worst locks in the world besides the little three pin tsa locks you put on your suitcase at the airport these are crappy locks do not put this junk on your house man uh, you know I, I wouldn't even put this on a pull shed man I, you know these are just junk not only that another trick a lot of people don't know is this core on these uh, quick sets and, and other cop brands that copy them, you can take a key, leave the front of the key, the just a blank key, leave the front of it tall, come back about half the key width, and file that down so you're making a notch in the middle of the key. You shove that in there, and then you attach a dent puller to that, and you could yank this core right out of the slot. This this core just pops right. It just two springs hold this in, pops right out. And boom, a screwdriver gets me in the door. And if I was Johnny Criminal, uh, you know, that's a pretty quick, easy way of getting into someone's house. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of people don't even lock the deadbolt on the back of their, their back door. They just flip the little, you know, the little thing on the doorknob because it's quick and convenient because they don't have time. Anyway, guys, that's my rant about security for today. Um, I mean, as you can see, look, two totally two totally different keys now does some of the bidding match up kind of close are they perfect absolutely not at at no point in time will you even even look even a schlage a schlage is about the junk is the second junkiest lock in my opinion they're not very good locks at all uh but even a schlage if, if you had two keys cut nearly identical but one pin was just one depth setting off it would not open that second door 
But if you did the same with a quick set and you cut one pin, one depth setting off, that key would fit both doors. You know, even though the bidding is not correct, that key would still fit. So, I mean, look, I I'm putting the information out there for you guys. If if you don't heed the warning, now I'm sorry. You know, uh, 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 if you don't heed that warning, I think in my mind, you probably deserve to be robbed. You need to be robbed because you will not get it through your head until the worst happens. And I hate to say it, some people are just that way. They just don't learn that, you know, they have to learn the hard way. But uh, guys, if you're watching this video and you have a family member or a friend or anybody that has crap like this on their door, please share this video with them. Put it on their Facebook, something. Or just tell them about it. It's not about getting shares and likes on my videos. I don't care. I have like five subscribers. Who cares, man? I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna make a million bucks off YouTube. I understand that. But for the sake of, of their security and yours, please get rid of this junk. That's all I have for today. Uh, you know, for for any information you need on locks or weapons or everyday carry, whatever. You know, even prepper stuff. Uh, go to keypicking.com. Uh, it's basically just a place to learn to be a man. So uh, you gotta stay safe. Stay legal.